Hi, this is Billy here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'll talk to you about why rebuilt engines don't work out so good sometimes. This truck right here behind me from Texas, this man had shipped to me. Unfortunately, spent a bunch of money with people who didn't know what they were doing, and they cut a bunch of corners putting really parts in this engine that are substandard. And he got about 2,000 miles down the road after they had put that motor in there and charged him all this money, and the thing came apart. Uh, I want to show you what went on, and it, it really is two things. Now, outside of tuning and abuse and lack of maintenance, there really only is a couple reasons why these engines don't work out. It's because the person who put it together didn't know what they were doing, did it incorrectly, and substandard parts. And that was a combination of both those things in this engine. And I was surprised this engine went any more than 50 miles after I looked at it. Two things here. First of all, uh, the engine failed because of a broken rod bolt and a broken piston in 7 and 8 back here in the back. It trashed the block, took the block right back here, and took pieces out of the block. Um, it chucked a hole in the side of the motor right down there. So the box trashed. Bye bye. Crank is all tore up. See right here where the crank got beat up. Camshaft lobe on the camshaft back there got beat up so we trashed a bunch of really good parts okay first mistake the guy made was that he put the bearing cap on the back back here he over torqued one bolt but he put the cap on backwards um, <laughs> man that's a that's a major screw up you gotta be paying attention when you do this uh, make sure you put the caps on correctly but he uh, Put the cap, well, possibly a she, I guess I shouldn't say he in this politically correct world we live in. The person that put this together put the bearing cap on backwards. I'm surprised the truck went as far as it did and wasn't banging and rattling right up front. But the other failure, okay, that, that happened here is that they used these Chinese $140 pistons, okay? You know, guys. I would build my engines cheaper if I could, but I've used the best quality parts, uh, Molly pistons. If it doesn't ha say Molly, M-A-H-L-E on the face of the piston, do not run them. These pistons, these Chinese pistons are all over the internet for 140 bucks, and if you look real close, this piston was cracked right down the middle. You can see the crack right there. Now, I don't know if this failed first, and that failed second. I don't know which one failed, but they both came apart at the same time. Uh, but cracking that piston, he did have regulated return, probably some tuning on this truck, which we're going to change. But I haven't driven the truck yet to see what the tuning is that was in it, because it's still going together. But substandard pistons, only 2,000 miles. Don't cut corners on the building of these engines. And you know, when I talked to the guy, he said, oh, I really wanted you to build it, but you know, I'm all the way over here in Irving, Texas, and, you know, it's a long way. I can ship this truck to me for around $600 from Dallas, Fort Worth, or Houston, okay? And he spent all these thousands of dollars. He had all of his stuff get ruined because he was uptight about a $600 shipping bill. That doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't add up. If you're going to have a professional build your engine, be prepared to spend a little bit of money and do it the correct way. I don't know what other shops do. I know there's a lot of other people out there that are successful. But building engines is not about luck. Building engines is about putting the parts together in the correct way, measuring them correctly, and using quality parts. Not this Chinese junk that everybody wants to cut corners with. We're going to see more of this. This is about the fifth engine I've seen with a cracked piston like that. Molly piston won't crack that way. So. Hey man, cut corners in these engines, in any of the parts on a power stroke. You cut any corners, whether it's with the injectors, if it's a cheap ass Chinese cylinder heads, or any of that other garbage that they're selling out there, you will not be successful in the rebuilding and care of your truck. You must use the best quality parts. And that's what we strive to do here at Power Stroke Specialty. That's why we have so many fleet trucks out there with three and 400,000 miles on it, because we use quality parts. And the, and the customer can get the value that they are looking for in the repair of their vehicle and get down the road for half a million miles or more. But this is not the right way to do this. Um, you're going to be sorry. It's going to cost you. Unfortunately, this man is spending money all over again 
and he does has to pay the core charges because the cores are all bad. One cylinder head shot, the block is shot, the crank is shot, all that stuff costs money. Um, and people aren't giving these parts away free. So you go and cut corners and it's going to cost you twice to three times as much. Just ship the truck to me. Make a phone call to us and see what shipping is. I get truck shipped from Colorado, uh, California, um, Dallas, all up and down the eastern seaboard. I've had trucks from Australia. I've had trucks from Holland and England. I mean, if you're going to get it done right, bring it to us. I don't know about other shops. I won't vouch for another shop. There's certainly a lot of qualified mechanics working at Ford dealerships and private shops all over the country, but I cannot vouch for those people. I can only vouch for me. And if you bring it here and have us do it, I can look the man in the eye and shake his hand and tell him that it's been done right. And this right here just, this, this right here simply wouldn't fly in my world. Because the few hundred dollars you saved on that set of pistons just cost this man way more in downtime and having to replace all the cores and parts inside this engine. So do it right the first time. Give us a call. Let's get a shipping quote. Let's get it done right. And don't be penny wise and pound foolish. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for PowerStroke owners on the internet.